A new scam is targeting people right here in the triangle. Consumer investigator Steve Sprejo walks us through the scam that creates fear about your social security benefits. Steve. Well, the calls are happening all across the area. Both the Social Security Administration as well as the state attorney general say they're creating a lot of confusion and fear among people. Now, earlier today, a Zebulon man reached out to us to talk about this story and to warn others. Hello? It began when Thomas Allen got a phone call from somebody claiming there was a problem with his Social Security card. In many cases, the scammers impersonate the real Social Security Administration. They clone their phone number and then they make threats saying they'll do things like... Suspend your Social Security number on an immediate basis as we have received suspicious trails of information in your name. In Allen's case, they said that his Social Security card was found in Texas in a blood-covered vehicle filled with drugs and they needed proof he wasn't there. They wanted to last four digits of my Social Security card, my numbers. The Social Security Administration is never going to call you and ask you for your Social Security number. They know your number. Allen ended up giving up personal information. This woman lost $50,000 to a person posing as a Social Security official. The money would have to be transferred and then transferred back. Scammers use all kinds of techniques, including intimidation like this. Now, if I don't hear a call from you, we will have to issue an arrest warrant under your name and get you arrested. And we're just starting to see uh, the Social Security Administration being impersonated in a big way. In Allen's case, he gave up his personal information because he believed it was the right thing to do. Did you give him the numbers? Well, I did because she sounded so real. But later when he called the number to check on his so-called case, nobody was there. Call rejected. Allen is just one of a number of older Americans now being victimized by scammers, and he is a prime target. I get a lot of strange calls. I've had people call me and, and said that they had oil wells they wanted to sell me out in Oklahoma. Um, I've had people try to sell me rings. Now get this, in the time that we interviewed him was about an hour, he received five, that's right, five phone calls from scammers who were either looking for information or trying to get money. If you get a call like that, just hang up. And if you want to report somebody impersonating a Social Security employee, I've added a link to today's web story to help you do that. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher. All right.